Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Buffalo Trays Kosher, a Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey Wheat Recipe. Certified kosher by the Chicago Rabbinical Council, 47%. In the U.S., this should be a $39.99 um, retail price. I paid 85 euros for this over here in Europe. That's the way things go at the moment. Now, I'm just going to read a little bit. This is my second review. I did the um, rye whiskey already. Yay, rye recipe. I do not have the straight rye, Boo. Um, but I do have this. So Buffalo Trace Distillery produced this wheat recipe bourbon in a partnership with the Chicago Rabbinical Council. Chicago is, what is it, about five hours away from um, Frankfurt? Hmm. Thank you, Google. I just looked. Uh, five and a half, six hour drive. So it's not just next door. Um, that is actually an interesting fact for me. Why the Chicago um, Rabbinical um, Council? Why not the Richmond, Virginia? Which is, I think, even closer. Or the Washington, D.C. Or even something in Lexington, Kentucky. Or the Frankfurt, Kentucky. Hmm. Now, this is made with the same high-quality grains as W.L. Weller bourbon whiskey. <gasps> W.L. Weller, let me do something. Boom, boom, boom. Weller 12. Look at this. So, I got this from Paris Whiskey. La, 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 um, la Maison de Whiskey. L-M-W-S um, or W. Um, and actually, if you look at the back here, everything is in French. So I did not expect this. This is a 12-year-old whiskey from Weller, um, 45%. This is a 7-year-old. Um, Weller is Buffalo Trace, Sazerac. So this is then actually um, the 7-year-old. Now, I paid less for this bottle than I did for this, which is amazing. Um, not much less, but less. Now, this goes over here for about $100 per bottle. Uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but um, La Maison de Whiskey, www.whiskey.fr for France, for FR. Um, they received the bundle and I bought two and it was actually free for shipping. And I was very, very happy to receive them. Thank you very much for everything you did for me, uh, La Maison de Whiskey. So, if you look at the color... You do notice that the 12-year-old is darker than the kosher. Now, uh, disclaimer, I am not a fan of weeded whiskeys. Sorry. I am not. I've tried many uh, Pappy, and I am not. I'm not wowed by it. I've had the W. Weller, a few different, all of the different ones, basically the 107, the Antique Collection, um, the 12-year-old, and the Special Reserve. Um, I have not had the newer versions, so sorry. Um, they're okay, but I'd rather have a, a bourbon um, with a high rye mash bill than a wheated whiskey. Personal opinion, just that little disclaimer at the beginning. So on the nose, I do get a little bit more of an acetone light smell. Um, the wheat is more of a, now I want to revise that acetone moment, into a buttery corn of the cob moment. Um, with a little bit of brown sugar thrown on top for good luck. <sighs> All right, so um, very, very interesting. Here, in order to satisfy Passover requirements, these barrels, the barrels with the um, kosher whiskey in it, were sold here to Mark Brown, which is the president of, of Buffalo Trace, in a ceremony witnessed by a representative from the um, Chicago Rabbinical Council. Does he drive down to Frankfort? Or do they go up to Chicago? Question. Hmm. Now, after aging for seven years, um, this wheat recipe bourbon was then bottled at 94 proof, 47% ABV. And of course, they had to double clean or triple clean or quadruple clean um, the bottle lines before then there was, um, these were actually bottled to ensure that there was no contact with non-kosher um, spirits at all. And it's always released after Passover. During Passover, no non-kosher products are allowed. And bourbon, I guess, would be considered something like that. And therefore, they can actually enjoy this, um, this all-American traditional spirit. Yay. All right. Cheers. Hmm. 
So it's a little bit different than the rye. The rye says, um, this is smooth yet complex. And here we actually have um, complemented by hints of fruit and vanilla. And the sweetness. I really do get the sweetness here. As I said, you take, put, take a little bit of corn on the cob, you have some butter on it, and you put a little bit of brown sugar on top of it just for the sake of it. That's what I'm getting here. This is good. I'm not ooing and awing. The rye, I was ooing and awing. Very, very good. This is a C plus whiskey in my book. Sorry. Over here, the Wella 12. I'm going to start ooing and awing in a moment. Mmm. Mmm. I don't remember the 12 tasting this good. I've had a few bottles. I bought them in auction over here. They were always around 100 euros. They were enjoyable, but they weren't wow. This is going towards that wow a moment. This is a B whiskey, B minus B. Mmm. And especially the, the, the price I paid for it com compared to the prices that are often asked here in Europe for this. This was a steal. Mmm. I like this so much better than I do this. I like this better than all of the rest. But, um, so, number one, number two, number three would be my ranking here. All right. So, my question of the day is what is your favorite wheated bourbon? Is it a Maker's Mark? Maker's Mark um, or Maker's 46? Excellent. Some of the newer things I've not had. Um, is it a Weller product? Some of the newer things I've not had. I have to wait maybe a year or two for someone to actually bring them over basically in their suitcase and then put them online in auction for me to be able to buy them. Very, very few shops actually sell from the U.S. directly to the, to the European Union. There are, there's a lot of paperwork involved. We have to pay, pay terrorists on it and so on. And it's a pain in the butt to do that. Um, some, very few shops have done that, and I do know some friends of mine who have gathered together and done $600 and $800 um, dollar orders, and people have been almost happy to um, collect the money and send it over, but that is not something that happens a lot. So, um, I do not have a lot of the newer products yet. I used to always buy them through an auction in the UK, no problem. UK left now because of Brexit, very difficult, and... COVID happened and no traveling. Oh, and so not much bourbon going across the, um, the pond in a regular fashion as it used to. So I've been cut off from some of my newer bourbon suppliers at the moment. All right. So, um, yeah, we have Pappy. We have Weller. We have, um, we have, what did I just want to say, Maker's Mark. We have Wilderness Trail, Single Barrel. Um, we have a few other products out there that are Wheaters. What is your favorite? Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you very much for sharing and telling other people about this crazy guy over here in Germany with his Weller 12 and with his kosher um, wheat recipe, Buffalo Trace. So um, <laughs> many, many people in the States are going, I would love to find a bottle of this or this, and I have both of them. Rare and exotic. Thank you very much. All the best. See you soon. Whiskey Jason here. Bye-bye. Thank you.